Have you ever wanted to create a voiceover in your own voice, but you didn't want to read the script yourself, or maybe you couldn't because the house was louder, you were out with the kids, or it's spur of the moment, late at night, early in the morning, and you don't want to disturb the people around you, but you still need to get this done? There's a brand new, really cool program called Descript that actually learns from your voice and creates your own voice so that you can type in what you want said, and it will say it in your voice. Now, this program does a lot of other things. So we're going to have a breakout series of tutorials on how to do this, but this is one of my favorite features for creating voiceovers for your TikTok, your Instagram, your YouTube shorts, or even your longer YouTube videos. So let's take a look at exactly how we can be doing this. Inside of the Descript dashboard, there are a lot of different features and a lot of different things that we can look at. The first thing you need to know is that you are going to have to create your own voice. So you're going to go over to Overdub, where you are going to then be able to create your new voice. Now from here, you're going to be naming it. So let's just say test. And from there, we're going to then be able to either submit our own recording. So if you have other YouTube videos, past live streams are especially helpful here. Podcasts that you've recorded that is just your voice, you can then input this into it. If you do not have access to audio files of you already, there's a script that you can read. It takes about 30 minutes so that it can learn your voice and you just have to sit there and read it. This means you can now read or input in that audio and then within 24 hours, mine did take the full 24 hours, it can recreate your voice on your behalf to then go ahead and actually add things in. So to submit those trainings, you're gonna go up to that submit training data button up at the top. And at this point, it requires at least 10 minutes of audio. I recommend doing as much as possible. So if you can go over 30, if you can go more than that, that's going to make sure it learns your voice a little bit better. So the more options you can give it, the better the voice is going to be. Now, every single time that you are uploading these things, you are going to have to certify that you are the owner of that voice and you're giving them permission to do this. So you're going to have to read that into your microphone. And then at that point, you will be able to upload your audio. So you're either going to drag and drop your audios in here, or you are going to be able to then record via their specific script so it can learn your voice. Now we're not gonna do it right this second because we've already done it, so I'm gonna hit the back button. And like I said, this has created my voices in, within 24 hours. Now what I have learned is that it does need to not have any other background noise. I tried various different things to see what would work and what wouldn't. It did not pick up my voice when there was music in the background or where there was other noise. So it needs to be a quiet room because it is pulling in the atmosphere for behind your voice as well. And even between my recordings, I've noticed a difference in the room depending on what type of recording I was doing. So my podcasts sounded different than my live book readings through a live stream. So whatever you use the most, whatever sounds the most like your usual type of recording should be the type of audios that you input, but you can actually create a number of them to see what's going to work best from you. So once you have the voices created and then they've done their part of it within 24 hours, you can then start using those voices. So from there, we're going to go back to home and I'm going to click on new project. This is actually a script I filmed this morning for one of my Instagrams or one of my videos. It's about Instagram. And so, which I didn't spell right, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and click on that project. And then from here, we're going to be able to use this voice. So I've copy and pasted in my script and it's going to paste it right in there. Perfect. Um, and we're going to go ahead and we are going to play this for you in a second. Now, once you paste this in, you're going to see on the bottom, we've got this timeline. It has all the words that you've put there because this is going to allow you to select things, change things, which is another part of one of the features inside of Descript because you can actually take your videos and if you misspoke, you can change one single word without having to worry about it. Or if you went off on a tangent and you don't want it in your video, instead of having to actually go through and edit it yourself, it will create your conversation in script here. And then you can just delete the words that you don't want, which is really, really nice. Now, what I've noticed is it does take a minute for it to translate this over. So what you actually have to do once you put this in is you're going to click on that little speaker tab. So right to the left, it's like that little gray button. You're going to click on that. Then you're going to pick which voice you want to read. So I have a number of different voices here. I'm going to pick this one because that sounds the most natural to me. And I am then going to have to wait for this to process. So for this to process, we're going to look down on the bottom of the screen there. You're going to see how all the words just turn pink. It means they're processing that inside of my voice. Now, while we're waiting for that to process, I'm going to read the script so you can see what this is going to sound like in my voice if I were to read it. Oh, you can see it just popped up with 
that audio. So here's what I would sound like. I saw someone say if their book got a movie deal, they'd quit their jobs. Absolutely do not make this goal. If your monthly book world income covers your bills and allows you to live comfortably, then you can quit your job. But TV deals are signed and fade away every day. Shows get canceled every day. There's nothing secure about a TV or movie deal. Protect your business and make smart business decisions that aren't based on a momentary win. So that would be me reading it. This is the AI version of me and how it reads. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my volume up to make sure you can hear it. And I'm going to play. I saw someone say if their book got a movie deal, they'd quit their job. Absolutely do not make this your goal. If you monthly book world income covers your bills and allows you to live comfortably, then you can quit your job. But TV deals are signed and fade away every day. Shows get canceled every day. There's nothing secure about a TV or movie deal. Protect your business and make smart business decisions that aren't based on a momentary win. So you can see it sounds a little bit different than me. The voice, definitely my voice. The inflection is a little bit different. Now, this is going to work really, really well if you are posting things on TikTok or Instagram. Because a lot of people do those vibey type conversations where you can like say something inspirational and people then can put their own videos in the background. This is going to work really well for that. This will also work well if you're talking about a shorter video that you're creating. Now, I would not use this to create an audiobook of my novels. I would not use this to necessarily create a longer version YouTube video just because it doesn't quite sound all the way like me, but this saves a ton of time and effort. And like I said, we now have the ability to use this to then end edit our videos. So think about it this way. If you have a video that you're importing and you want to change one word, you can do that without having to record it again. And it's going to match what you're doing. So this is a huge time saver and total game changer when it comes to creating your content. And this is not the only thing that this program does. Now I have linked the program for you down below. So you can be checking that out. That is my affiliate link. So you get all the goods when you go over there, but I am going to be doing a breakout of other features inside of Descript that you can be learning from as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell so that we can show you exactly what you can be doing with this program, because this is just the smallest tip of the iceberg when it comes to Descript. And I'm loving using this inside of my programs and inside of my businesses. And I thank you as well. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell and we'll see you every single day for brand new videos to teach you how to level up and save time on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, live streaming, and within the tools and resources you're using to make more money inside of your business. I'll see you in the next episode and follow along for more Descript tutorials and drop your questions below.